Hello everybody, what's going on? We are back for some more movie time talk, so let's get this thing started, shall we? Okay, so what we have today is the third Annabelle movie. We had Annabelle, which was a disaster. Annabelle Creation, which was slightly better and actually sur pleasantly surprising, um, not too bad at all. And now we have Annabelle Comes Home. So I call this the third of the trilogy and hopefully the last of these Annabelle movies and kind of a side sequel spin-off to The Conjuring and Conjuring 2 because now we have Ed and Lorraine Warren in this movie. Now, when I watched the preview of this movie, this is what made me really excited about watching this because I love the Warren characters. I love every time they use them, they put in a movie. I am just a huge fan of both Conjuring movies and I was just happy to see more of them. I know we're getting another Conjuring, which I'm really stoked about. The only thing is we're having a different director. James Wan is not gonna be directing Conjuring 3, so I'm a little nervous about that, but at least he's producing, and I think he might be helping out with the story, so at least he's involved in the movie. Anyways, let's get back to Annabelle Comes Home. So Annabelle Comes Home, like I said, is basically a, I wanna say it's a sequel to the first Conjuring because I believe the events of the first Conjuring this movie takes place right after, and I believe it's right before The Conjuring 2, when the Warrens go to London. This was a very cool concept. This was a movie that was basically showing, okay, we've seen plenty of Conjuring movies, Annabelle movies, we've seen the Warrens' really cool, creepy room where they keep all the cursed and haunted items that they basically keep the evil from the rest of the world to keep the world a safer place. What if the movie was based in the actual Warren's home this time and everything got loose and just all hell broke out. Pretty cool, right? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I think that'd be a really cool movie and that was another reason why I was really stoked about it because I'm like, oh my gosh, you're actually making a movie of the idea I was thinking of when you see this room from the beginning from The Conjuring. So I have to really appreciate scary horror thriller movies because they are so hard to make. I feel like horror movies, that genre is probably the most difficult to really um, make and show people like, hey, we did a great job in this movie, you know, super stoked. I think horror movies get a bad rep because yeah, they're mostly cheesy, they're mostly corny, um, either gory or just don't have good characters and the story sucks, the acting sucks, the dialogue sucks, everything about it just is a huge mess. And unfortunately guys, I have to say, Annabelle Comes Home, I left the theater so, so disappointed. I was just like, really? First off, spoiler alert, Ed and Lorraine Warren are basically in the movie for, I wanna say, if 10 minutes total, that is the most we're seeing of them. They're like in the very beginning of the movie and they are in the very end of the movie. They're not even part of this movie. I felt like the trailer made them, like they were in the house, you know, kicking butt and trying to like, you know, score away what was happening with all these evil entities and demonic forces. They're gone, they're out of the picture, they're traveling on some random trip, helping someone else. So the movie focuses on their daughter, I believe her name is Judy Warren, um, played by a different actress. I really wanted them to bring back the original actress that they had for the Conjuring movies. Um, but no, they got a different one, but it's cool. I mean, she played some really good uh, characters uh, I believe she was in the movie Gifted with Chris Evans, which was actually pretty good. And then she was also in one of my favorite TV shows on Netflix, The Haunting of Hill House. Such a great series. If you guys haven't checked that out, please check that out. Such a good show. Um, so, yeah. So we have her. And then, obviously, there's a babysitter who's watching her who's, you know, probably the best babysitter I've ever seen in my life as far as maturity, um, being thoughtful, taking care of her job, her, you know, babysitting responsibilities. And then of course we have the tropey friend who is just an idiot and we see this in every horrible, bad horror movie who just, you just see the whole time going, you are dumb, what are you doing? Stop, don't touch that, why are you going in there? Who are you? That was really annoying because I mean, I thought we've gone past this. I thought horror movies have gotten smarter, especially, especially in these Conjuring movies, but no, it hasn't. We have this stupid friend who has to make the movie, so she has to go into that room and start touching and fiddling around and calling out. I mean, she's just so, so stupid. I mean, I don't understand her. She's just retardo. Uh, so yeah, so it basically focuses on these three girls 
and they're trying to fend for their lives and um, stop these forces and bring the house back to peace and balance. And it's just a mess. I mean, sure, there's some cool parts, you know, decent acting for some people, not all. I, I just think the movie just really disappointed me. I, um, I think I just have such a high bar for this universe of horror movies. I did notice and I was really shocked. James Wan actually was one of the screen players and producers of this movie. I know he did, I think, the same for La Lorena and uh, uh, mm, yeah, another mm. So basically, I feel like the only good um, Conjuring Universe movies are the Conjuring movies. So I pray to God that they do justice with the Warrens and with this universe by making a very good third Conjuring movie in that franchise. But guys, Annabelle Comes Home, I mean, it's tough. Like I'm huge nitpicky with horror movies, but I gotta say, just it didn't flow for me. I'm, I'm really disappointed with it. And I mean, if you have to see it, try to see a matinee or try to see it for free, but it's really not worth the ticket price at all. Um, so I'm gonna give Annabelle Comes Home, I'm gonna give it like a five out of 10. Um, it's probably below average, but I'm just, trying to be nice, I guess. Um, so, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna give a 4.5 out of 10. Final rating right there for this movie. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing Yesterday, which comes out also this week, so hopefully my spirits will be raised with the cinema outings um, and reviews. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Much love, and I will see you later. Take care, bye.